Hey, welcome Hi. family. Hi. Welcome to 2024. This is the first video that we are doing unprofessionally, unedited for you, our family, all around the world. And we were talking about um, the year 2024 and I was thinking, I, I don't like this happy new year, even though we always say that, but um, a year is not always happy and I don't, I cannot wish you guys a happy new year, but um, a joyful and peaceful new year because we walk with him. Even though we go through the um, valley of shadow, he is walking with us and he is the reason why we are joyful, we are peaceful because he is with us. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you guys write me and say, you got a gorgeous wife. Now you know why. <laughs> I, I enjoy, uh, we, we enjoy walking together, we enjoy uh, being real. This is uh, a channel where everyone is real, you know, we don't hide anything, we talk about everything, and uh, we have uh, been able to do this in Cyrus House and our Cyrus called Ministry International, uh, that we create an environment that we say, hey, we love you as you are. But my wife said it well. You know, the world says, if you love somebody... Stay as you are, I think, mm -hmm. English. And I have a problem with that. If we should stay as we are for our whole life, um, is, isn't that a little boring? Or, I don't know, we need to develop. We need to grow, right? And so it's that's, unhealthy. It's, yeah, like, like a baby, right? Mm -hmm. If the baby stays, like, physically as it is, mm -hmm. it's very unhealthy and we can see that. Yeah, uh, imagine if a baby uh, is born and we say, I love you and now that it's I love you. It's very cute actually, a baby is very cute. And, yeah. Yeah. and uh, imagine if the baby keeps growing and you are like, okay, I, I carry you when you are two months, when you are six months, when you are one year, when you are a year and a half. But now the baby is two years and we say, oh, it's okay. The baby doesn't want to walk. Let him sit. And we keep, that's not any longer real parental loving, but actually helping the baby, holding it in hand, encouraging it to start walking seven, eight months, you know, into their life, helping them to balance their own weight is real loving. And my wife gave that example and said, in the world, they said, hey, you no, know, the church says, hey, we love you as you are, but stay the same. Uh, no, that's not the, what we do here. We believe we need to talk about everything that holds you down. We will walk with you. We will hold your hand if you need to, but with the hopes that you will walk as you were meant to walk, to become a man and a woman of God that mm -hmm. accomplishes the will of God in their life and pulls down the kingdom of heaven on earth pulls down the will of God from heaven on earth and pushes up the glory of God from here to heaven. So this is our heart. Anyways, go for it. No, just go. Oh, so um, we wanted to say a couple of things. Um, one thing that is our, our heart for this year is that we feel God is calling everybody. Would you uh, receive the blessing of come out, not go? And there is a difference, you know, uh, sometimes we see the Lord saying, go to such and such a place. So it gives you a direction. It's easy to know where you're going. And there is a blessing every time you obey God. But uh, what about the blessing of come out? When Abraham came out, he had no idea where he's going. When uh, the disciples uh, followed Jesus, he had, they had no idea where they were going. And that is a greater portion. So I feel as if the 2024 is going to be a year that many people are going to be called by the Holy Spirit to come out, to walk a deeper walk. Because I felt the Lord saying to us that in the, uh, what he is uh, uh, about to accomplish, because we are aligning ourselves with the 77th year of the anniversary of establishment of Israel the 77 year that uh, the whole world decided uh, Israel is a necessary state. And so that 
that statement in itself is powerful. When we align ourselves with what God said. And I feel as if for that to come, as we are aligning ourselves with that approaching time, we need to have a greater amount of obedience and faith in God who called us by names. And this is what we are encouraging everybody. Would you be the person that is willing to walk out without all the ducks being in, in, in line, without you knowing and having planned everything? Would you be willing to walk out? So anyways, every now and then I look over and see because my wife always gives God nuggets. I love that. Anyways, so uh, we want to encourage you to just uh, walk out. And many of you are reaching out uh, uh, to us in our, our walk with God and everything and are asking us how you can be part of Cyrus, uh, Cyrus Call or Cyrus House Ministry. And some of you have even asked us, hey, you want to come and visit? And you want to come and even stay here and be part of this ministry. We are always encouraged and we are excited to have more people walk with us and more people join us. So there are some practical ways in 2024 that we want to share with you that you can partner with us. One of them is we decided with a fasting thing. So we said six days of fasting and one day of rest. And so my wife and I, we are fasting on Mondays. And we said, everybody that wants to join, find a partner two by two, start fasting on that day. On that day, think, pray, meditate, and ask God for directions for the things that you need to proclaim, pray about, intercede, for people in your life or around the world or the ministry of Cyrus Call as we walk together. So you can join us in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, next uh, thing that you can join us is this. Our channel has been growing with uh, YouTube. We are close to 7,500 uh, subscribers. And so there are, I am learning all these things. So. If you guys want to help is by subscribing, pushing all those buttons that helps you recognize that you have uploaded a new video, video and sharing it on your own social media platforms and letting others know about us, your friends, family, and others. If you feel that this ministry, we, we are a simple uh, guys that, uh, that really have a deep heart for exposing the heart of God in the Word of God, you know, through the, the Bible and through the, the power of Holy Spirit. Because we believe that uh, the, the name Jesus Christ is worthy to you receive all the glory and people will do better knowing the Word of God. So uh, if you feel uh, you want us to reach out to friends or families of yours, Please just let others know about our channel. Some of you have even gone to other YouTube channels where they have posted my testimony. Many of them don't know my name. Some of them have said, oh, ex ISIS, ex I don't know this and that, you know, uh, which is not the fact. And I, uh, whenever I have been told, I have tried to reach out to those channels and say, hey, I was not part of ISIS. ISIS didn't even exist, but uh, many of them really uh, have not responded at all. But anyways, uh, some of you can uh, have gone to those channels and have written about our channel on their comments. So we are getting a bunch of those people that were encouraged by those videos and the testimony and they have joined us. So thank you for everyone that has joined this family and uh, we want to see this channel grow so you can help us by telling others by subscribing yourself and by even going to others that are looking for uh, for my testimony in other websites and letting them know that we are here so that's second thing then there comes the financial part so some of you have joined us as you know our website is not very good uh, but somebody else uh, in England has offered to help us with some of the website things. 
to make it possible for people to donate easier that would be amazing i don't have the technological background for it um, but some of you have gone through the all the hoops and loops to be able to help us on paypal we appreciate that we are looking for people that uh, are going to be monthly donors some of you even on uh, on YouTube have donated. I don't know how you do it, but thank you so much for every one of you that are joining us and donating to us. There are two projects that we are working on for the 2024. One, we are building a second House of Cyrus and I will put video on that. Uh, so if you are plumber, electrician, you know, roofer, any of these things that you can do, we need your help. The fact is this, uh, some of these things I can do, but as the opportunities have uh, opened up for me to travel and share my testimony and encourage and bless others and teaching, I feel as if the, the, the verses of the disciples coming to the church saying, hey, brethren, we want to give, dedicate ourselves to the teaching and the preaching of the word of God so that the kingdom can be furthered. And uh, as I do that, I need people that are willing to partner with us to uh, help us uh, build these uh, houses and make uh, physical places available for people to live there as they are being discipled. But also some of you are too far away to do that. So you want to financially uh, help us. We are uh, the project in the Cyrus House number two is uh, actually the, the, we purchased the house for about three hundred thousand euros, and uh, we uh, are estimating about two hundred thousand euros of renovation with the roof, electrical, plumbing, and uh, everything else with the heating system. Everything in that house needs changing. So if you want to help us with that, that'd be great. But also it's really getting exciting because my wife and I, we gave seven years to uh, the Cyrus house here in Germany and said, in the end of seven years, we want everyone here to take over and run the day-to-day -day ministry and us to take a back seat and help them out but then my wife and I will start a second branch somewhere else. And we feel led to start something in England, in Reading. We have been going there and we have connections there. Some of our spiritual children for many, many years ago that we shared the gospel and walked with them for many years from Malaysia are now in England. And people, uh, friends of mine that we preach the gospel. Kajol is in, in uh, England also. He's my friend that we went to villages in Bangladesh some 33 years ago. So we want to gather everybody together and minister and have a focus on sharing the gospel with the Muslims in England. Because the reality is everyone is complaining about how Islam is growing, how Muslims are growing in Europe, but no one is equipping the churches and the body of Christ in uh, being effective in sharing the gospel in a way that it makes sense in a language, in a culture that makes sense for, for the Muslims to hear the heart of Jesus Christ and give their life to Jesus Christ. And this is my heart. This is our heart because we are Muslim converts. So if you want to partner with us with that, you know, we are buying a building. We have seen a building in Reading. It's 875,000 pounds, which is about, I think, 1.1 million euro, uh, dollars. And so, and that needs renovation. So if you want to partner with us, uh, we uh, want you to just share with us where you want that money spent for the house here, reparation, uh, the, uh, restoration of the house in Germany or the project in England. And we will honor you in that way. And if you ask yourself or us, um, why, why the buildings? What, what are you doing in those buildings? We live together. You have community. You have, for, for us, church doesn't mean 
um, we meet every Sunday or mm -hmm. let's say Wednesday and then we pray and uh, worship, share the word together. Um, for us, um, having a church, having a community means to share lives, to, to be together, to grow together, to, mm. to share the gospel together and um, yeah, to eat together, to talk together. Um, that's what our heart is. That's, um, yeah, church doesn't make sense to many people because it's just a gathering mm -hmm. for once a day, one, uh, once a week. So, of course, it doesn't make sense. Of course, it doesn't change so much in, 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 the, um, in the personal life of everybody. So, mm -hmm. um, that's our heart to, um, to live with people, to um, to grow with people, and to um, to be together. Mm. Uh, so, for example, to share everything together. For example, on, on uh, New Year's Eve, uh, what our heart was to just sit down with everybody and uh, we prophesied over each other's life. But also, we have a community that, because we live together, as my wife said. We are able to observe each other's actions and behaviors and mindset in a, a closer manner. And we are able to speak into that part. And uh, so we spent literally uh, all of 31st of, of December and uh, the first day of January, all those days, hours and hours, we said had tea and uh, snacks and food and everything as each individual in the member of this house said and heard from everyone and people were able to say look this is what I have observed these are the weaknesses these are where I want to encourage you these are where you have been a blessing this is what I think holds you back from your calling or your relationship to go deeper with others and these are the things that I feel God is saying to you and that sort of environment really has been an environment that creates discipleship. Often I say to people, hey, do you uh, feel like Jesus would have been able to accomplish with the disciples if he would have given them a nine to five uh, school and say, hey, Monday to Friday, you come between these hours and these hours and we'll have a coffee break and this and that and you'll join these classes and you'll become my disciples? No. Did Paul do that with Timothy? No. Or Titus? No. That never happened. They lived with the disciples. And that was the discipleship. We believe in that. And we want to say, brothers, sisters, anywhere in the world, you may not be able to do it in this scale that we are doing. But if you have one person that you can just bring into your house and live with them, and then uh, just, just, speaking to each other's life you will see a great change we have become a family here and that is wonderful to see uh cubanas you know people from russia people from germany people from all over iran and uh, different countries kurdish you know azeris and as you know many of you in iran there are many different tribes but all of them under the same roof as we spend time together to get to know each other and walk the will of God. That has been an amazing, most powerful thing for us. Of course, we also believe rather than telling people, you know, um, pretending the need, you know, like many ministries I've seen, People, they just always, oh, we need money, we need money. And they, they take the money, they spend all of it, and they come back. We need more money. We believe in investing the money in a way that it actually provides for the next things. So every Cyrus house that we built, we expect it to be completely self-sufficient for, for within seven years. After seven years, there is not a penny from the body of Christ that goes to that Cyrus house ever again. And that Cyrus house not only has to su uh, supply its own need, but also actually go beyond uh, and uh, establish other Cyrus houses. So if you want to invest, you know exactly. And if you want to come and see actually practically what we're doing, the more than um, willing and transparent enough for you to come and see 
what we are doing. March 2024. I have some good news for you. We're doing a gathering here in Germany and we're doing a gathering in England. So uh, this, if you want to reach out to us, you can actually uh, go to our website, send us an email. We will get in, get in touch with you. Uh, if you are flying from other countries, I know people are coming from the United States, from all over Europe to stay here. So let us know. We will give you a list of uh, Airbnbs and places and everything else and what we have available that you can stay in our community and we can spend time together as much as possible. So the timing is going to be uh, first in Germany from the 15th of, Jan uh, 15th of March and then uh, the last week of the uh, March we will do it in England. So let us know if you are joining us. Uh, also, uh, we were able to again upload uh, the book as easy as drinking water on Amazon. That is one way you guys are supporting by purchasing or going to Kindle, downloading the book and sending it to your friends. Thank you guys. Every bit that you are giving really has been an amazing, amazing help, especially as you see the economy has slowed down some of our finances with uh, uh, our rentals and everything else has has been lower than usual so your uh, your partnership has really helped us a lot also the fact is that since i'm traveling now taking a lot of flights a lot of the costs are going toward the purchase of those flights so thank you, thank you, thank you. So we wish you a joyful, peaceful 2024. We love you very much. Thank you for being part of this family. Please come and visit us. Till next time.